in this generation, in this moment right now, what does it look like for the Chinese to do orphan care? My name is David Pat. Um, I am the founder of Renewal Missions, and we are here in Shanghai. One of the reasons why we came to Shanghai is to explore the need for orphan care. And you know, one of the big things I've seen over these last 15 years is that there has been a shift among myself, among my workers, um, and among the Chinese. We have realized that orphan care can't be an American thing. It can't be a European thing only. It needs to be a Chinese thing. I think one of the things that we've seen over the years is that anytime it's just one country or one group of people doing orphan care, it's insufficient. The work is not going to be sustainable. It's not going to be complete. And so one of the things that we want to do on this trip is we have to ask the question, how can the Chinese get involved in orphan care? I think we can be a catalyst, and that's one of my goals for our team, is we want to be a catalyst for the Chinese in orphan care. But we can't be the only ones. You know, one of the things that um, I'm trying to learn is I, I know what I'm good at and I know what my team is good at and us Americans and Europeans are good at, but have we seen the best of the Chinese yet? Have we seen the best of the Vietnamese and the Koreans and the different Asian countries who come to Shanghai and China do missions? Have we seen their best yet? Have we seen what is possible yet? I'm not sure. And I think if I talk to my Asian friends, I don't think they fully explored what it means to do missions in an Asian way. Um, I don't think they fully explored what does it mean to reach the unserved, the unreached, the underrepresented in an Asian way. And I think that's one of the things we want to find out. Something I'm committed to and a lot of my friends are committed to, let's walk along this road together. In the same way that it took Americans and Europeans and all these years of a lot of mistakes, right? If you look at missions history, there have been a lot of mistakes. But after all these years of mistakes, we were also given the freedom to explore and to wonder and to dream and to say, how do we do missions in this generation? And if the Chinese do orphan care well, if they serve those with special needs well, what does that look like for the rest of their ministries? Because the Chinese want to go to Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan and all the different African countries. And the thing that I don't think, and I'm, I guess I'm going to say this because I'm part Chinese, right? I think, I think the thing we don't do well yet is empathy, is patience and kindness and a long suffering. And I think that's what we do. That's what happens to us when we do orphan care is we get those things. You know, we get these amazing qualities in ourselves. We serve amazing people. I think there's something about orphan care. I think there's something about serving those with special needs that's integral. It's integral to the, to the cause of missions. When you look at the missionaries throughout history, the ones have done, that who we celebrate and we see that have done really well, why is there always a component of serving the poor? Why is there always a component of serving the outcast in missions? Because I think that's the heart of missions. I think when we lose the heart of serving those who are underrepresented, right, those who are overlooked, and when we focus only on the wealthy and powerful or the educated or the business people in missions, I think we lose something of ourselves. I wonder what it looks like for the Chinese to do orphan care. <laughs>